Hi, Chris here with High Tech Products. Today I have a small project to do on an OEM replacement fender. I'm going to be using our 1402 gloss black acrylic single stage urethane paint. Before I get started though, I wanted to make sure I had everything I needed to complete the project. Interesting enough, as the day goes on, you might see a temperature change either where you're applying the product or on the panel itself. Believe it or not, it could be 75 degrees outside if you're spraying outside. But in the sun, your panel might get a lot hotter. So what I've done is I've brought along two reducers, a medium and a slow. So by the time I actually start applying product, I know exactly which reducer to use to have the product perform properly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish scuffing my panel and then I'm going to clean it with 7800 wipe out surface prep. That's going to take any oils, grease, contaminants off the panel. After I do that, I'm going to use a static wipe on it and then I'm going to tack it off and now I'm ready to coat. My panel's just about ready to go, so now I've uh, gone ahead and grabbed our mixing cup from High Tech, and the ratio on the 1402 is 4 to 1 to 1. That's four parts paint, one part activator, and one part reducer. So because it's warmed up, I decided to go with the slow activator, and I've already put my paint in, so now I'm going to add the activator. It's important to know that the mixing cup helps you get the proper ratios by using the proper column and then following the lines. Here, I've actually gone and used the five because I want about a quart of product. So I've gone to my line on five with the paint. Next thing I'm gonna add is the activator and I'm going to go to the next column at five. Then further two columns over after the 10% is gonna be another five that gives me four to one to one. Okay, so I've applied my second coat. I've got great coverage. It's got a really nice gloss to it. And now I'm ready to clean up. I have my 7900 Economy Lacquer Thinner ready to go to clean my spray gun equipment. And keep in mind, all of our information is on www.hitech.com. You can get the technical data sheets. It tells you exactly how to apply, prep, and apply the product. Keep in mind one more tidbit. When spraying direct to metal, you need to have it properly sanded, properly cleaned, and properly treated before you apply the single stage paint. That's all for now. Thanks.